I feel like this one is going to be fun. I feel like this is going to be a fun slice of life made enjoying anime that we can just all chill and laugh at. Let's begin today's reaction. They flex in their trains. All right. I saw a maid there. And the maid is completely in outfit, bro. Imagine how much she's sweating inside. This town, this map seems all kind of fucked up though, right? Holy shit, that room. Yokuya. Wake up, neat. It's supposed to be a Star Wars poster? I'm not sure. <laughs> the garbage bag don't hi. stop in his room. Hi, hi. And <laughs> on the couch too, bro. The animation is quite vivid. Oh. She's a door-to-door -door salesman? But she's, she doesn't have a job. And she's like, knock, knock. Will you hire me as your servant? That's it? Okay. Just random chance. My faithful encounter with you. Parents are gone. Classic. So she's just our servant now? Out of nowhere? Yeah, bro. She needs a paycheck. Job interview? Oh, she's a hitman. She's an assassin. Oh. I see. Well? I mean, she's still hot, so uh, let her cook. Let her cook. Maybe, maybe this could be useful somehow. <laughs> Master referred her here. Specifically. Huh. <laughs> Yeah, how does he know us? Wait, are Our mom is a gold digger, basically. And it relates to her former master. Okay. Poisoned. He's gonna show us a fast attack. You know that one episode of Naruto where they have child Sasuke doing the but he couldn't get that one hit mark behind the boulder and then Itachi does it? I feel like this is that on crack. I feel like this is like Naruto ninja kunai shit, but like way better. Chibi too. <laughs> She's so happy and pride about it too. Look at this. Give me a compliment. Do we have any people ops to kill? Yeah. No! You fool! Bye. That's it? I mean... I mean, if you think about it, that is the total normal, reasonable thing to do. Like what? You're just a random teenager and this fucking assassin mate shows up and throws these kunai into the tree and it's like, this is a bit too much. I think this makes a lot of sense. Y'all are just too fucking horny. <laughs> you got to just so down bad. <laughs> okay. Hmm? The map of the city just looks all so fucked up. I thought there were some suicidal thoughts there. I was like, no, no, no. But like, hope. But the stranger thing is true. It's just like, you know, the, I forget the fucking, the, the logic of how many times.
times it relates from like our mom to whatever her master was, but like it like we are strangers. <laughs> Look at this shit. You see the building here? You see the animation? Because of the summer heat? Like, they're getting that sweaty to the details, bro. The background assets are literally just going like this due to the summer heat radiation. <laughs> look, look, guys. Whoa. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. Oh! He left the bell behind. The bell. Oh, oh isekai time. That time a maid came over and I kicked her out, but then I felt bad, so I went after her, but died and got reincarnated into a different world. Almost kills this guy. <laughs> Watch, are you fucking going, idiot? <laughs> and he probably is in the wrong, though. I don't think Truckun was in the wrong. He was just running in. Oh. What an intimate moment. Doki Doki. Doki Doki. The bell. She's just gonna go back? No, 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 no. Bro, come on. Bro, come, you came all this way, bro. Oh. Would you like a job? We're back. Back to the Yokoya family. So many weapons. Oh, in her little suitcase. She's very enthusiastic about knives. Clean. The assassin mindset body bag? You, you think that there's a bunch of bodies in there? Clean the house. She seems very chill. Yeah. He broke ass kid. I was gonna put her on payroll. Broke the broke. <laughs> okay, she sucks at being a maid. She basically is a maiden name only and is just an assassin and just cosplays as a maid. She has no housekeeping skills. <laughs> ゴシンパイを掛けしました。さすがにサイ、サイ。もしかして名誉さん、結構やったいぶ。かなりグレイクラムジーメイドアサシン。雇っていただくなと。シーズオリファイアドブロ。ブロシーコンイヴンメイク
Arigato. She is extremely easy. Huh? Like, Buddy hasn't done anything to give her a fucking job. And she's like, wow, I think I'm in love. I think it has to do with, like, abandonment issues. I don't know, something about her backstory. There was something important that was said during that train scene about, like, I thought he could be the one. I think that she has some sort of past issues with abandonment or having longing for, like, a master or something. And this is basically, like, that future, and that's why she's folding so easily. Yes. Sophomore. 16, How old is she? Do I want to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's upset <laughs> Amazing. Good, good job. Konbeni food. Just konbeni food, bro. Yo, the tonkatsu was shown in the openings multiple times with such visual acuity. So there is a reason. This is gonna be like the food that we share for the first time. Little interest in food. Oh, she's like a robot. That's so sad. Man, she just... What kind of light... Well, she was an assassin. Basically, everything doesn't matter but assassination. Food, just sustenance. So she just lives such a sad life. And now we can teach her the joys of konbeni tonkatsu. I'm gonna blow your mind. Let's go, Katsu. <laughs> Nameless. Yeah, what did the employer call you before? Darling. Your name is Darling from now on. <laughs> My honey! Baby girl! Now I yearn to be called a name. <laughs> Like, this girl, because of her, her, like, entire robotic backstory of never experiencing anything, she even craves to be given a name. This truly is the power fantasy, bro. Oh my god. And all of these, like, first experiences are gonna be so, like, innocent and pure and wholesome, and he's gonna, like, show her such simple things, but she's never cherished or even, like, experienced those things because she was too busy assassinating. I guess that is basically the theme of this show. <laughs> Bro, that's kind of fucked up. You have a bigger rice bowl compared to hers, and you also put sauce on your tonkatsu, but she doesn't have any sauce. What the fuck? You're eating that shit raw. Oh. What do you think? Oh my. Oh no, this is gonna get sad. She doesn't even know what tastes good or bad. Assassinates. <laughs> what the fuck? Is it? This is so sad and awesome, bro. Stop it. Oh my God. Oh my God. The warmth in my heart, I seek to be named. The former master. The former I don't want him to call me something that means cold. Maybe that was kind of the name that the master referred to her before. Warm, then. 
You gotta put some sauce on that, lady. Damn, the Katsuda family has their own special sauce? Ooh, glaze. Gush. Nice. Yeah. She's sparkling, bro. That sauce. She gonna be fucking drinking this shit, bro. Like, it's fucking water, man. This is so... Like... Isn't it crazy that, like, basically nothing has happened? But it's so good. Like, what, what has happened so far? Random mate shows up, gets job, eats tonkatsu. But it's more than that. It's way more than that. It's about, like, how... She had nothing back then. And now she's experiencing such simple things in life that gives her such warmth. Because the master was so cold before. This is such a heartwarming show. I don't, I don't think it's, it's, it's like the same as like, you know, um, Wolf Bride. Remember Zagan and Nephi? But it's been a while since I felt like this kind of like wholesome rom-com kind of show. <laughs> that room is so nasty still. He's crying was reaching out for something. カップラーメンがあったぜ。見ろ。暗殺が得意です。魚。お、ブラッド。ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ、ノ
Mom left a long time ago with sister. That's kind of interesting, huh? Mom left for whatever reason, and there's also a little sister. There's no way the little sisters are ours, right? It, there's no way this suddenly turns into an incest story, right? But there is a mysterious mom and a sibling. Lap pillow incoming. Yeah, lap pillow for episode one. Yeah, please use my lap. Come on. She's gonna feel rejected, bro. No, no, no. Lap pillow. Lap pillow. Oh my god. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> that contrast of her being so cold, her name being cold, and then him shattering that ice, and it's warm, bro. Hi, <laughs> I'm too horny to sleep now. That is today's episode of... I don't even know what this anime is called. It's something made something. It's honestly really good. I think that the studio adapting this is actually doing this with love you, you can tell the amount of little details just like the very little things even like the ground like fucking showing that you know radiation the summer heat or her hair bang being reflected on the water there's many different scenes where it's just like crazy animation but beyond just the production value basically a power fantasy of a dude that just gets a fucking maid for no reason it's just like a wholesome story right but the maid is like such a sad backstory. She's treated as just this assassin that's supposed to be only cold and can only kill, devoid of any humanity. And now her interactions with this kid is going to basically let her enjoy those human moments. Something as simple as tonkatsu sauce is so good to her, and now she doesn't sleep. She doesn't, she doesn't like dream about killing only anymore. And this like whole coldness, her reasons for existing. We need to be affectionate, or she's gonna be super depressed, right? If he didn't take the lab pillow, she would have thought that she is just a cold killer after all and she can't change. But him taking the plunge into the lab is just this convenient way of saving her and giving you guys a power fantasy. So I think this is a fantastic anime. Hopefully it does well on YouTube side and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content and until next time, take care.